Hello, my name is Leah. What's your name? Today, we are going to be taking a wonderful adventure together. I hope that you are in a place that is comfortable. Snuggle up under the covers and maybe grab a stuffed friend to cuddle with. Who is your favorite cuddle partner? When I was young, my favorite was a doll named Jenny. Whatever friend you picked is the perfect one for you because you chose it. Did you know that there's no one else like you anywhere in the world? You are God's beautiful creation and he has a special plan for your life. I have a game we can play as you start to relax. Can you take one hand and lay it on your belly right over your belly button? Great job. Now, take a deep breath in. Did your belly go up when you did that? Now, slowly breathe out. What happened to your belly? It went back down, didn't it? Now keep that hand right where it is and feel your belly go up and then back down a couple of more times. You're doing so well. It's relaxing and comfortable lying here, feeling your breath, isn't it? Now put your hand back onto your cuddle partner. Are you ready for the most fun part of our time together? I am going to tell you a story about love. For this story, we're going to use our imaginations. I like to close my eyes when I imagine. Can you close your eyes too? Great job. Let's think for a second. Can you imagine that you're in a really big field? What sorts of things do you see in your field? Hmm. Maybe flowers or trees? What colors are the flowers? Are there butterflies and birds there? Maybe it is spring and the flowers are blooming everywhere. Or maybe it's fall and all of the leaves are pretty colors. When I'm in a field, I like to run and feel the grass on my bare feet. Running in the field is fun. There are so many things to see and to do. Well, all that running probably made you a little sleepy. That's okay. Maybe sit down and rest. While you're resting, think about this. What was the prettiest flower you saw in the field? I like that one too. How about the biggest tree? Which bird had the most beautiful song?
You are doing a wonderful job using your imagination. As you rest in the field, a butterfly lands on your finger. Ooh, it tickles. What color is it? What does it look like? It is a beautiful butterfly. Did you know that God created this butterfly? God made this beautiful creature for the world to enjoy. And he loves the butterfly. He takes good care of it. He gives it food to eat and water to drink and places to rest. I think the butterfly likes resting on your finger. God created you beautifully too. And he loves you. Just like he loves this butterfly. God loves you and he gives you the things that you need. How does God take care of you? Does he give you people who love you? A warm place to sleep. Delicious food to eat. Friends to play with. Tell God what you are grateful for. It's time to rest now. Lie down in the field. You can rest quietly and think about what you experienced here today. Did you have fun playing in the field? Did you enjoy seeing the butterfly and feeling it on your finger? Remember, God created you so beautifully, and he loves you so much. He has a special plan for your life. Does thinking of all these happy things make you feel warm and fuzzy inside? That warm and fuzzy feeling is one way God tells you he loves you. Did you know that you can share that love, that warm feeling with somebody else? When you give them a big hug or you smile at them, you give them that warm feeling too. I hope to visit with you again sometime soon. For now, can I pray for you? If you want, you can fold your hands Or you can just keep snuggling with your cuddle partner. Dear God, thank you for this amazing child of yours. You made them so perfectly. There was no one else exactly like them in the whole world. Remind them how much you love them. Be with this child as they share that love with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, friend, for going on this adventure with me today. I look forward to spending time with you again sometime soon.